Um, uh, thank you for being here, and thank you to the Linux Foundation for all the organization and, and corralling to, to, to get me here and, and, and the support. I, I really appreciate it. So this is this is my talk. Second place is the first winner. We'll we'll get in, we'll get into what that means a, a bit later, and hopefully by the end of this, you have a better idea of how to grow your influence in the Linux kernel community. Um, but first, let's get started with the agenda we're, we're going to go over today. Um, we'll start off with a, a career path disclaimer. Um, everybody's career path is a, is is a little bit different. Um, so this, the examples in this presentation are, are uh, painfully mine, <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, but there's, there's, there's more than one way to, 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 to go about this in, in the Linux kernel. Next, I'll actually explain what second place is the first winner means, um, wh where that comes from, and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and what, it, what it relates to, and, and it's something in real life that kind of mirrors uh, Linux kernel uh, growth and development. Um, the meet will be a discussion about how to how to kernel um, how how to be a uh, a part of how, part of the kernel community and, and grow there, with an emphasis on reviewing and maintainership. And then finally, we'll we'll, we'll go back and review like wh why why is it worth it to to spend time here and and persevere in in, in the community? What, what's what's to gain? Um, but first, we're speaking of career paths. Um, uh, I don't know if if uh, if you rec recognize this person, th this this is, is a HPA H Peter Anvin, and he's been involved with uh, Linux from from the beginning. Like he he purchased uh, a uh, Linux one 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 of one of his first computers. He's he's been um, probably I think like the the one like the third one of the third I think the third contributor to Linux. Like he, he he's been there from the beginning, um, and beyond being wicked smart he's um he's also been there to at, at the point where linux there was a lot of green a lot of greenfield in linux and he he grew with linux so his, his expertise is rooted in the in the fact that he wrote the wrote the foundation for for a lot of these things um actually literally he, he wrote bootloaders to, to get to get linux off the ground uh, so he's, he's been there for a long time and then there's people like me <laughs> who came a bit later to the Came a bit later to the uh, to the show, and um, eh, decent, decently intelligent, but but I'm I'm, I'm no Peter Anvin, um, but I but I have grown in the Linux community, and my path is different, um, but it it it, it has a, a arisen to a similar level of of, of influence, in, in some areas some areas of the current. So, um, fine. Find your style. It may be somewhere between Peter Anvin and Dan Williams, or or or, or somewhere completely different. But there's multiple ways to get to um, to get to growth in the, in the kernel community. Okay, second place is the first winner. Um, what do I mean by this? So, this is back in 2007, 2008. I participated I participated in something called the Arizona Treasure Hunt. Um, this is actually this is something organized by the IEEE Society of uh, uh, the, the, the Phoenix chapter of the, of the IEEE, and uh, it is a, a annual event where um, uh, engineers set up um, a treasure hunt in the desert in the, in, the, in North Phoenix. And when I, when I and to get an idea of the scale of, of what this is, this is this is the this is the entire map of the, the of the playing field of, of the treasure hunt, and. And from, from from one corner of this map to another, it's about a, maybe about a thirty minute drive, um, and and multiple teams sign up. Um, they 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 all rent they all rent large vans. They bring their their head flashlights because this happens at night. And you drive around to these to these sites trying trying to solve clues. If you um if you get if you go to the wrong site, they they, they have a they have a donkey there to remind you that you you've gone off you've gone off track, and and being being teams of nerds, you can imagine some some of the some of these puzzles. But anyway, what the um, but the uh, the scoring of the event at the end of uh, at the end of the event, you basically scored on how many puzzles you solved, how fast you solved them, and how many how many emergency envelopes you opened. Um, and I, I equate that to Linux kernel, Linux kernel development in terms of all the wrong turns you can make, um, getting getting from one point to the next, and uh, and 
and the, the problems and the scale of the problems that, that need, can, need to be solved. But at the end, when you're scoring, the team with the highest score um, gets, the, gets the honor of being the organizers for next year's event. So second place is the first winner means you did all, you, did, you achieved everything except the responsibility of having to plan and organize, organize for next year. And this is similar to uh, the path I see some people take towards maintainership. They arrive at the kernel and uh, they think their very next thing, like after they get their first thing done, their, their very next destination is, I, I, want, I want to be a maintainer. And, um, and you want to have the fun, but you, you may not want, the res you may not want that, re that responsibility up, up front. So coming in, how, how do you come in second place in Linux? Um, the, like, like I was saying, if, if, you, if you aim for maintainership, you might actually get it. And that may, that may, not, that may not be where you, where you want to be, or, uh, especially, or especially early, early, early in, in your career. Um, kernel maintenance is uh, a support role. It's not, it's not an executive role. It's, 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 more, it's more janitorial than, 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 than royal. But not, nothing, nothing, wrong with, nothing wrong with janitorial, but, but the, the scope of the work is getting into the mess, cleaning things up, and, and, and being there for people. Um, the uh, the power that that some people ascribe to maintainership is I, I get I get to I get to decide where things go. That the power is actually there is a there's some power to say no, but there's a lot of responsibility in saying no to to, um, to in saying no. You have to say no in a way that um, doesn't lose a developer. You have to say no in a way that um, points out the next steps to get to get a yes. But more importantly, you have to say no from a maintainer role to people that would use your maintainership uh, uh, um, in a way that's detri detrimental to Linux. Um, uh, I mean, a maintainer job is is to main is to maintain the long term health of, of the kernel, not necessarily to push the to push the agenda of of their employer. So sometimes you have to say no no to your no to your employer no no to who's asking you to do the work to say no this is not this is not the way Linux works. And um, so the long-term health of Linux means we have to we have to go a different way. Um, and uh, I, I didn't mention it at the beginning, but at, at any point in this presentation, feel free to raise your hand, uh, jump in, and ask questions about about, about anything you see. Um, I'm happy to uh, to go off on tangents on on some of these points. Okay. How to kernel. So, um, review. Uh, review is the centerpiece of, of, this, of this presentation. Of, uh, hopefully, hoping to make that apparent compared to uh, maintainership. Um, but before getting to how to review, uh, just went to level set about how to get started. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that that this audience has has gotten started, has found a way to get started. But but if you haven't. Um, there, there's, there's certainly mentor programs, ones organized by the by the Linux Foundation to to help you get connected with people that can that can guide you on this on this journey. Um, but if you, the most common answer you'll get from any person who's been doing kernel development for any any amount of time is when someone says, "Hey, how do I get started?" The first thing they say is, "Fix a bug, uh, fix a lot of bugs if if you can." And uh, there's there's multiple reasons. There's a couple of reasons for this. Some of them are self-serving. Uh, for the maintainer, because maintainers are overloaded, they don't have time to <laughs> necessarily track down all the bugs themselves. So when somebody shows up with a, with a bug fix, that's just one that's that's one more thing off their plate. Um, that what that gift to that gift to a maintainer of taking something off, off their plate is currency. You use that you use that currency to basically buy buy um, by forgiveness for, for forgiveness for you for the mistakes you're going to make submitting submitting your own code when you're submitting your own bugs, um, it's it's the way to restore it's a way to to initiate a trust relationship. Um, people begin to trust you if, if you if you show the fortitude to stick stick it through and fix a bug, and but but it can also be used to repair 
repair trust where, where you made mistakes and, and want to show, hey, I'm, I'm in this, I'm in it for the long term. In general, um, uh, the community values longevity and staying power and, and being there to fix mistakes more than they, more than they um, value perfection, of it, perfection from the beginning. And so these, these are ways to get established. And even if we are established, repair things and, and build, your, build, your trust, build that trust. Um, but, but once you kind of graduate from fixing bugs, then, then you start to look around for maybe scratching an itch um, that uh, uh, small features, small things that, that, that you'd like to see. Um, I, 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 des I describe it this way, I think this is the common way. Of course, there's, there's people that show up with fully formed ideas about what they want to do with Linux. Um, they, they, come in with a, they come in with a new subsystem. Um, uh, that's, that, that tends to be more rare. And that wasn't the way I. That wasn't the way I came into Linux. I, I came in fixing small things, and and then I and then I had a an idea to add a add a new feature. And getting your first kind of significant feature landed after after that point is where I think the uh, the da the danger comes in. Um, and and, I, and the advice is to graduate to become a reviewer, not a maintainer. Um, and of course, I did not do this. <laughs> I went. I, I went the other way. Um, I think it was. I think it's funny that, or ironic um, that as, as I was preparing for this presentation, uh, this article from from LWN came out, and there was a, a review of basically how how much does the maintainer's file tell the truth about what's actually happening, um, and uh, the first example. <laughs> the, first, the first example of a subsystem that uh, uh, probably needs to be cleaned up in maintainers that seems to not have uh, had any ongoing active development happens to be the very thing I introduced as, as I would call my first major feature. This was uh, an asynchronous offload engine support for, for RAID controller, um, for, for the RAID, RAID subsystem. So things offloading XOR and, and, other, and RAID 6 uh, checksums to, to an offload engine. And um, I promptly, I promptly, proudly put my name in the maintainer's file. Um, but looking back, uh, I didn't, I didn't get much influence from being, from being, from being a, a, a async TX a subsystem maintainer. Um, there, there aren't, there aren't too many other people that are, that are looking to develop code in that space. So, so what, what, did, what did, that, what did that actually get me? Um, but I will say. The, the, what I got from this experience was, was not the maintainership, what, but was the relationship with, with Neil Brown. I was lucky enough to start, um, in, start in a subsystem where, where the maintainer's working style and my working style were compatible. That's not always the case. Sometimes you end up in situations where the maintainer and, you, and the way you work just don't, don't jive. Um, um, I would, I would, in those situations, I would recommend, recommend finding someone that can that can mediate, mediate uh, or, or help you uh, kind of in, in, interpolate with, 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 that, with that maintainer. But if you're lucky enough to have uh, 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 that kind of relationship, I was a, he, the, um, what Neil gave me was, 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 patient, was patient feedback. And that's, that, ten, that, that tends to be rare. And you, you tend to have to earn it with, with trust to get people to take notice. Um, Take pity <laughs> on on your mistakes and 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 set you, set you on on a better path. So if you find yourself having a hard time in Linux, double check that it's not just a kind of a simple in, simple incompatibility with the way you work with your with your upstream, and 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 either find different find different upstreams or find people that uh, that they, that you can work with. Um, but so. The lessons from your the lessons lessons from your first um, contributions are all the mistakes you make, and in general, to be a good reviewer, you need to be a connoisseur of, of mistakes. You have to you have to you have to, you have to seek out seek out your you have to put your mistakes on a on a on a, uh, uh, on a shelf and, and re remember them, and you have to be actively looking for other other people's mistakes. Of course. Of course, a lot of a lot of the basic ones and fundamental ones are in the documentation. Of course, of course, everybody reads reads the, reads the documentation. Um, 
but then but then there's a there's a next level of mistakes that people make that, that don't get written down and those happen on the mailing list and they, and they get documented in, in email email back and forth um, but yeah but, but, but like I said the first place you're going to get a good source of mistakes is are the ones you make yourself and of course you didn't you didn't make any mistakes or in the documentation right um, you, you read you, you landed all those perfectly it's, it's other ones that weren't documented that, that tripped you up of course um, this I found invaluable is to look for the mistakes that veteran reviewers point out. So go read uh, Alina's review, go read Greg's reviews, go read uh, Christoph Helwig's reviews, and and see the things that that uh, make them grumpy. See the see, see the things that, that that people that other people repeatedly make. Um, um, one trick here. So this this line here is a a search string you can put into lore, um, lore lore.kernel.org. Fire this up, and you'll. This is Linus responding to people's pull requests during, during the merge window, and Linus will dig in, especially for developers that um, um, are newer or 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 he doesn't see as often. He will dig into their pull requests and not only find issues with the pull request, but he'll find issues in the code. And there's there's, there's just a a um, lot, lot of good reminders um, that that um, come from, uh, from come from that feedback. So grab a coffee and, and when you have free time, um, check out <laughs> check out the mistakes other people are making. That that's, that that Linus is pointing out um, at this point. Um, the, but the biggest one, especially the one that goes to maintaining your trust, building your trust, is not repeating the mistakes. Uh, the um, what makes what makes a what, what 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 tends to contribute to the most um, uh, grumpiness on on the mailing list is when people have to, is when people have to repeat themselves. So um, don't be one of those people that makes a maintain and repeat themselves. Uh, but even even more bonus points than the maintaining than the points you get from just from just ma maintaining no mistakes is actively find ways to preclude other people from making the same ones. So documentation contributions, but also looking at how people um, um, misuse APIs. Or it, 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 maybe it's not the, maybe it's not their fault. Maybe the API is leading people down a path to to make the same mistake over and over again and. Can you, and can, do you see a pattern um, that can be improved by just changing the API? So I, I put this quote in here in full. Um, this, this builds on the idea, like, once, once you have a collection of mistakes, what do you, what do, you do with it? And uh, this, this, the, um, when I send out the slides, you can click on this, click on this link to, to, to read the whole thread. But, this was in, re in response to um, the fact uh, that uh, the, 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 this, this, was, this was a thread where the XFS maintainers were kind of complaining about a, a lack of review, review bandwidth. And this is uh, David Chinner talking about how to get more people to review. And, and a common, a common, a common uh, refrain from people that, um, that are asked to review is saying, hey, I know nothing about XFS. Uh, I know nothing about file systems, or I know nothing about memory management. I, I don't feel qualified to to review this to review these patches. And Dave's point is that um, that's a, that's a defeatist attitude. Um, but moreover, it, there's actually value in not being a subject matter expert. Like we we don't need we don't need a pile of subject matter experts because that's not that's not where the code review goes wrong. The big concepts are usually are usually uh, easier to when well, usually easier for for a maintainer to spot and and address it's the detail it's the loop loop termination conditions it's the um, it's these these corner cases of, of small mistakes that people make writing code even even veterans and um, they're they're there they're there to be found and when you and when you find them the insight of fixing them helps you get more acclimated more, get more acclimated to the code. So what, he, what he's saying is that um, 
don't don't be afraid to jump into a place where you, you don't have deep subject matter ex expertise. Bring your general expertise and general code review skills of finding finding these, these mistakes and use those as as a window to, to to learn more about the code base. Because as you as you connect these dots, then um, then how the code works becomes more clear. Um, it's it's sim it's similar to fixing bugs, um, and and that you uh, you learn you learn how the you learn how something works by seeing how it's seeing how it's broken, and um, yeah and this 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 thread is is worth reading in full. Um, I think it's I think it was it was it was the most kind of concise explanation of yes you can review code that you that you are not the not the expert in. Um, this also goes back to us so, something that I was uh, kind of alluding to with with Peter Anvin, um and the fact that Linux is mature. Uh, there's not a lot of brand new things to go do in in, in the core. It's a it's um, it's a lot of adaptation and optimization and and detail work. It, like um, it, there's there's not big pieces of Linux that are missing or or, or, or suboptimal. It's it's been around for a while. So a lot of the people that um, you would point to as long-term veterans, they they had the benefit of being there as Linux grew up, and they got they got they got to they got to write the naive implementations and then watch those implementations not hold up and have to go fix them. Um, and and new people coming in today are are having to are having to deal with with code that's that's been matured, been been battle tested, been battle hardened, and it's a bit harder to, to get to get uh, to make it to make an impact there. But I would say that the the, the so there's op, there's a lot of opportunity. There's not a lot of opportunity to change the core, but core changes are still happening. There's a lot of there's a lot of opportunity to to review, review that review those changes, and get um, and get acclimated to things that you, acclimated to things that you're, that you're interested in, even if you're not the ones writing, writing the features for writing the feature writing the feature enabling for it. So. Um, the the new age the the, the up and coming Linux kernel uh, developers are people that are need to be need to depend much more on review than kind of the natural write something naive and, and watch it grow later. Um, so yeah, so conti continuing on continuing on with it with this idea of, of you, you don't need subject matter expertise the the I've actually, I've actually also I've also found that you have a window where you can use your naivety na naivete to your advantage, um, especially with especially with for asking forgiveness. Um, for, um, uh, maintainers tend, tend to be tend to be a, a bit more patient with people that haven't been around for a long time. So take advantage of that take advantage of that time to 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 to, uh, to ask deep questions and um, but also it's also a benefit for review if you don't. Quite know what's going on. Um, uh, change log quality is paramount. We uh, we we um, I don't know if you've seen any of Case Cook's talks about security and that and, how, and how long it takes for a some of these root holes they can they can exist in the kernel for years, and um, and asking asking basic questions. Um, an, an expert tends to be like oh, it tends to assume that that is there. And um, there's a lot of basic questions that, and things that can be can be caught by kind of leaning into. I'm not sure I understand how this works. Certainly, certainly change logs and documentation. You want um, the ones you write and, and the ones others write benefit from. Hey, can I, can I explain this to somebody who's not not the expert? Um, does this make sense? Does this make sense to a a, a kernel developer of, of of moderate experience? Um, the, the the last thing I would say about not needing to be a subject matter expert to to, to make an impact is I, I use the analogy of of you're like a a little sister or a little brother um, coming up in, in in a family when 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 you're when 
if, if you're a uh, if your older sibling is two years older than you, when you're born, the difference between a, a two-year-old and a, and a newborn is, is gigantic. But over time, you catch up. And you, you catch up asymptotically. Um, so uh, even, even, though they're, even though they're ahead of you, um, uh, your, your ability to, to catch up and, and be productive is, um, is the, the, the same as a little sibling catching up with their older sibling. And when, you're, and when, you're, when, when they're 47 and you're 45, you really can't tell the difference anymore. Okay, um, so we've we covered how to get into reviewing things, um, especially things that you're not, you're, not, you're not sure you can you can review. You can review those things. Um, then the next level of of impact and influence you make is by um, seeking out and destroying the uh, contributions to the to the platform problem. The platform problem is basically the assumption that, um, hey, this core is pretty well baked, and uh, we're just going to use it as is. And any kind of warts or rough edges, I'll just work around those in my driver. Or, 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 or um, basically, I just, I just want to get my job done. I'm use the API, take it, uh, take it as is, and and, and go. Um, the 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 people that get recognized and um, uh, and get more influence granted to them are the ones that say, no, this API is actually broken um, or this uh, is not optimal and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix that problem and, I'll go, and I'm going to go and find uh, other people that have avoided this platform problem the same way I have. Um, so the, the technical debt that, in general, Linux is, and is, is, the whole point of it, uh, the review process, is to not take on technical debt. Um, but the the main source that gets into the kernel is 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 where people avoid avoid fixing the platform. And um, so it's a it's a uh, uh, exponential effect of of, uh, of impact by uh, uh, to the long term health of the kernel um, to to fix these things. And sometimes the the, the the definition of where the where the platform is and, and what pain points it's causing is not readily apparent until you start reviewing um, patches from 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 multiple people try, us, using the same thing. Uh, all the patches in isolation look okay, but then you see you see patterns of people making mistakes or 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 doing kind of or open coding things multiple times in multiple places where you're like, hey, this is could just be refactored. And put into put it, and put into a common place, and uh, certainly, if you want to make, I can't imagine any maintainer that's that's not happy when they when they see a red diff and a, a red diff when 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 you do when you turn on terminal colors for for looking at at, at diff stats, and the, and the minus lines all turn red, and and a, and a patch is mostly red lines and most, mostly deletions. That's oh, those are those are so sweet. Um, that's and that's that's. Those are the kind of patches that you can develop only after seeing a the stream of mistakes that the other people are making and the and the things they're avoiding and the and the opportunities for refactoring. So, kind of in summary for review, the uh, the influence you gain from from doing this work from Showing up at conferences and talking about this work is that you demonstrate that you are in this for the long haul, and you're in you're in this for the long term health of the Linux kernel. And and if people if people trust that for whatever mistakes you make that you're in it that you're you're there to you're, you're there to own up for your mistakes, uh, there to own up for the mistakes of the people that are that are also that you're helping to mentor yourself, um, then you're given, you're given wide wide berth to 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 kind of participate in the conversation. Um, it's readily apparent when people are um, uh, maybe put, pushing a pushing an agenda from from uh, from marketing and not engineering. Um, to use an analogy. Um, Dan, yes. Looks like we've got a question here. Sure. 
Um, they, Roman asks, could you describe what is a platform problem in a more comprehensive, more comprehensive way? Sure. Um, I'll give an example. Um, see if I can think of a, think of a, of a, of a good example. So uh, I was working on a, um, on a SCSI driver and um, I found and I was, um, I forget, I forget the exact, exact API. Let's assume it was, I think it, I think it was uh, something to do with, with uh, deregistration. And yeah, it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a hot plug bug. And um, I noticed that my, every time I unplugged my SCSI controller, this, uh, uh, my, my thing, my driver would crash. And I, and I looked at the API, like, it, looks, it looks like I'm using this right. Um, there was a, there was an, an object reference problem where, um, when you call this API at the wrong time, it, 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 you, get, you get a use after a use after free bug. I'm like, huh? That's, that look, it looks looks to me like I'm using this API correctly, and I'm like, I'm certain that other people um, have to have hit this bug too. How did how did how did this not how did this not happen before? And I went and looked at other drivers using the same API, and they had workarounds. They said, oh, there was actually comment but in the code is that, oh, by the way, the core, if you do this in the wrong order, um, or you, if, you, if you use the, basically the API the way it's documented, it, it causes this crash. So we're going to take this extra reference here and, and um, to, to, to prevent that problem. So they, 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 they found the bug, they root caused the bug in the, in, the, in the API, and then they worked around it in the driver. And, and, and that was, that, that's an example of, of, of avoiding the platform problem. Um, I will also link, but in, in the slides that go out, I'll, 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 I'll put a link to, to an LWN article. Um, but if you, if you search, if you do like a, a Google site search, if you search, if you search platform pop problem, the site colon LWN.net, you'll see articles about it as well. John has done, um, uh, has done a couple on a couple of them. And there's, there's, there's some good examples there, but yeah, it's, it's when, it's when, it's when you see people uh, commenting and working around, um, a core API rather than fixing it. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Dan. Hey, no problem. Um, this is so kind of, we kind of talked about like keeping the kernel healthy, but and kind of representing the kernel health out to the community, but also internally to your whatever, whatever to your organization at uh, your employer. But something I didn't realize, or something that's become more apparent uh, to me is that um, re re review is so critical to your ability to get your job done in the kernel that everybody should be, well, everybody that, that, wants, that, wants, that wants to be on this path of growing the influence should be looking to negotiate review time with their manager to say, hey, I need, I need, um, I need one day every, every two weeks or a, a day a week to say, hey, I'm going to go review something that's not part of what I'm trying to submit. I'm, I, I need to go and build up and, res and uh, keep fresh my, my, um, my contributions to, to the community. And um, if, if more, if more developers did this, I, I, I think, I mean, I think we, I think we, we don't, we'll always have grumpy maintainers. Um, but uh, we're, we're starting, the community is definitely starting to feel this, uh, this, this review bandwidth crunch. And when, and when people are saying, hey, I can't get my code in, I can't get my code in, um, the, the, the best way to get, to get to fix that is to start helping other people get their code in and, 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 Ask them to reciprocate, and this this tends to work. The um, Andrew Morton, it was a few years ago, basically said, "Okay, I'm I'm going to stop merging anything that doesn't get a review a review from somebody else on Linux MM. I'm not going to be the reviewer of last resort. Somebody else has to review these things." And I think there's some people. I think some people wring their hands. Oh, my, this is going to this is going to uh, uh, slam the brakes on on the flow of patches in the MM, but it, it 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 didn't, and it's so it's been successfully deployed in MM. 
XFS had this policy of, of, of no author, um, um, not, ex not accepting patches that, that they're only, only signed off by the author. Um, there's, yeah, there's, just, there's a, just a need for more review, and it's to the point where you should be negotiating with your manager to, to, have, to have that review time to go help somebody else. Okay, so um, the, the influence you gain from reviewing is pure gold um, uh, for, for your career. Uh, what about becoming a maintainer? What, what does that do for you or how do you do it? Dan? Um, yes. Uh, hey, um, there's one question, there are two questions, one question in the chat if you want to answer that. Um, is it possible that the projects we have been envisioning are so close to a real panacea that folk who carefully review it will become near instant fans and willing to dive in head first yesterday? I'm sorry, so close to who cares? I'm not sure I understand the quite understand the question. Um, James, feel free to turn your microphone on and ask the question if you, you know, elaborate on that, please. Okay, maybe it will become near a second. I mean, if, if the comment is about, will it? Yeah. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Yes. yes. Hi. Sorry about that. I had a little technical glitch. Sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know, I've I, I've been studying. Um, uh, it's mostly based on healthcare, right? Um, and uh, my pro the, the projects we've been envisioning, okay, will like solve all kinds of things, including COVID-19, okay? And uh, all sorts of different um, other related uh, problems out in the world these days, okay? Uh, that I, I, I think that if there were enough people who got to know and understand the nature of the projects we've been proposing. I, I use I and we, you know, me, myself, and I. Okay, yeah. so so yeah, I, I think that um, if my projects were to be um, looked at closely, okay, and, and I'm not talking about some uh, weeks on end. I'm saying if, if some people took like a half an hour or an hour to see just exactly what we've been proposing, okay? Uh, that they would most likely um, willingly jump in and try to help uh, the project along in as many ways as possible. Yeah, I, 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 I thank I, you. Thank I hear, you. I, no, no worries. Yes, thanks for the question. Uh, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Um, I think in Linux there is a lot of opportunity for people to see to see a solution to a problem or, or, or see an idea for a, a solution to a problem and um, and and a lot of people want to um, kind of present the idea and then hope that the coding and the and the contributors show up and um and then it, 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 there's just i think that there's been too many times when the idea once it meets kind of practical deployment it it, it doesn't it doesn't pan out to the point that, where that happens so often in linux that um we don't um we 
that 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 that, that, we, that maintainers and developers don't don't jump in don't jump in on the idea. They jump in on successful code. So um, it's 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 really it's really a much more iterative and kind of um, uh, uh, practical um, deployment of yes, you have an idea. Yes, it sounds good, but but before people are going to are going to jump in on it, um, they have to see the, the code. The code has to be there, and yeah, so it, it's it's kind of this um, um, uh, deeply deeply practical, deeply non theoretical, and, and uh, part of, of Linux where it's like where it, it's it's all, it's all it's all about the code, and 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 showing showing the idea uh, and 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 not just the not just the idea itself. Okay, so so can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So then, being that um, I'm not a coder, uh, right? Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> where where do we go from here and stuff? Yeah. Um, I, I I actually have not seen that. I mean, I, I've I've certainly seen people say, "Hey, I, like uh, I have this idea. Wouldn't it be great if?" And um, and the 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 level the level of the level of like backlog of people's plates of 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 of, of taking your idea and, and and putting into code the, 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 the people are the, the the backlog is just it's already full with with the things that are already ready to be deployed that um, it's it, it's been the case that they can wait on those ideas wait wait for somebody else to wait for those kind of kind of a natural selection of the ideas to filter into somebody who's going to deploy the code but I don't but to, yeah, to, your, to your question, like how, how do you take your idea and get it and get people excited about it? Um, um, kernel developers really only get excited. <laughs> really only get excited by patches, and uh, and uh, and yeah, it's 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 a, it's a matter of finding maybe, maybe a contracting company or somebody that 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 can uh, take a contract to to try to see see the idea into patches. But um, that's a, a good good question, and I, I think. Uh, I think people see that on the mailing list fly by every once in a while. Good ideas, but no code, no code with it. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, that's very helpful. Okay, thanks. Um, cool. So, so the, the the main the maintenance side of this equation. Um, it was so. So I, 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 I said my experience was develop my first major feature, maintain it, I, and the maintainers done. I won Linux, woo! And then realized, wait a minute, um, uh, I, 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 I want to contribute more. I want, I want to grow into other areas. Um, uh, there's, 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 not, there's not too many people praising me for, for this little corner, this little corner of the kernel I've, I've invented. Um, and it wasn't much later in my career that I met somebody who, who I got, who looked up to, and, uh, and. And asked like, hey, so we're like, what do you what do you do when you send pull requests to Linux? He's like, I don't, I've never sent a pull request to Linux in my in my entire career. I mean, he'd been doing it like uh, five, ten years longer than I have. And I said, really? Yeah. He's like, yeah. My, I don't even have a name, my name in the maintainers file. Um, I've just been reviewing and developing and pushing patches to to other to other maintainers. And I'm like, oh, that's that's the way to do it. Like, <laughs> why, why why am I resting to maintain something and and kind of be burdened with keeping something up versus going around and Kind of being a a, a, a a free contractor or, or a, a free reviewer in other parts of the kernel. So I, that really that really felt like like success to me. Um, of course, you, of course, it's not. I'm not saying I'm not saying copy this pattern, but but you don't have to. You can be in Linux a long time without being a maintainer. And today he is in the maintainers file, and it was it was because the he's a sub maintainer of a subsystem. Um, because the main maintainer is like, hey, I just can't handle this, and please, 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 would you put your name here and take this and take this and take this piece of the of the maintenance from me? And that's that's really the optimal model. Like you want you want to be second place, uh, not not the, to to be the first winner. You want to be the person that's that people would say, I would love if this person would take over my would take over my some of my responsibilities, so I so I have more time to focus on other things. And I'm sure that this person was on multiple people's lists of saying, "Hey, oh yeah, if if if, uh, if they would take it over, um, 
I would hand it over to them. And I, and I think there's a, a few examples of people like this. Um, I think I think I think Christoph Helg is, is one of these people that was kind of late to maintainers file. I think Dave Hansen is one of these people that's late to maintainers file. Um, and and I think and 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 you see the, the level of influence they have did not arise from from prestigious maintainership. It arose from being really precise and um, uh, deep reviewers. Uh, the way the way I summarize this is is you want to be somebody that that relieves other people of their burdens and not necessarily somebody you, you don't want to be the focal point of other people's burdens um, as a maintainer. Uh, not 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 to, not to not to fully throw maintainership under the bus. Um, uh, like th that that work is really important and really good maintainers are hard to find, especially for especially for super high volume subsystems. The things that the things that the networking maintainer um, Dave and, and, and now Jacob that's uh, filling in is just amazing. The amount of patches that they, they get through is amazing, and and, uh, and but that's but that's 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 the top level of of maintainership. A lot of other subsystems are they're they're, they're just they're, they're not that they're not that high volume, and um, your influence uh, from just maintaining a small subsystem is not as high as it could be uh, if you were if you were going around trying trying to review other things that interest you. Um, this kind of goes back to uh, how to be a maintainer. It, the pro the problem is that it is subsystem subsystem um, specific, and there there's certainly documentation. There's people there's people you can follow, um, but there's no kind of right way to there's no kind of right way to do it. It really depends on on the code itself and how, and how it moves moves and flows. But I thought it was interesting that um, this, this so the person replying to me in this email is Linus, and this, these are one of the messages you can you can see if you do that lore search that, that I showed earlier about the feedback is that um, maintainers, even people that have been doing it a while, uh, get it wrong. And then there, there's, if you look, if you look at Linus's feedback, he's talked about what he likes to see in merge requests on the mailing list, but there's no, there's no document that says you, uh, that here, here's how you, here's how you must do a merge, a merge commit if you, if you send one to Linus. So a lot of this is organic and it grows as, as people are interacting with the kernel and, and kind of have to be in that position of, of, of reviewing other people's submissions. Um, it, I was actually one of the people that uh, proposed the idea of, well, uh, well, we have new maintainers, why don't we write a handbook that helps them? And there, there's some tips and tricks in the, in the kernel. Uh, this is work, work, started, work started by other people. I, I, I had the idea of making it more comprehensive and more prescriptive, but uh, as I tried to define it, the number of people that said, no, I do it this way, no, I do it that way, um, and with good reason, too. Um, I mean, so some of the differences are arbitrary, but some, but some of them had, had, had deeper reasons. That I, 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 I did not succeed at creating this handbook. Um, but, but one thing I did um, uh, identify is that the maintainers that are most effective and, and the ones that developers um, uh, tend to be able to work with better are the ones that are predictable and you, and you, underst you understand they, they make, their, they make their, their rules clear and they, um, so, so, so towards that, I, I started this effort called the subsystem profile for people to declare what the rules are for the subsystem. When, when is the last day you can submit a patch and it still be accepted for the next merge window? Um, th there's a bunch of details that are that are that are subsystem specific, and and each each, each maintainer might have a might have a different answer. Um, so if if you're looking for how to how to be a maintainer, there's there's some there's some uh, guidance in the kernel, but a lot of it is a lot of it is finding a maintainer that's maintaining a, a subsystem that's a similar patch volume to yours, similar complexity to yours, and 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 try to steal ideas from them. Um, uh, ask, asking maintainer questions is, every, I mean, every um, every uh, year we have the uh, maintainer summit or and kernel summit mailing list. Those are good places to, even if you're not going to uh, 
the 10 kernel summit or, or maintainer summit, um, some of the things that are, that are invite only, the mailing list is useful to, to ask, ask maintainership questions and get answers and, and also to go back and review, review the archives of, of, of those things as well. But it, but it really comes down to being predictable and setting expectations. Um, that, that relieves the most pain from, from contributors. Okay, so so what what why do we do this? Uh, why um why why would you why would you want to grow yourself out of uh, or grow your influence in the kernel? And you don't necessarily have to. I mean, the there there are people that are perfectly happy to say, hey, I am a um a prolific developer in this one focus area of the kernel. I'm really good at. I don't really. I don't really care about other parts of the kernel, and that's and that's that's, to, that's totally fine too. So, don't don't think of this as as you um, this, you must um, grow and and uh, and go go review a bunch of other things to um, have a successful career. But if you want, but if you do want to grow your influence and you want to get deeper into this thing, then, then this is what you have to, what you have to do. And it's a it's a cycle of influence and, and trust and impact. You earn, you earn trust, and with that trust, you you, you can uh, you can make bigger impacts, and when when you and when you can make bigger impacts, then you can influence the direction of of, of, of where Linux is going, and um, then build more trust, make bigger impacks, grow more influence, and it, it's it's a, a self a self feeding cycle, and um, it's 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 it, it's also just fun <laughs> to to. Uh, to be part of a, a global technology de development project, and and grow and growing your influence in, in that space is is, is super re rewarding. Um, but the, the this middle piece is is I think that what Linux Linux needs people to kind of persevere through through um, this pain. Like we we, we need. We we need flyby contributions and people to just pop up one kernel cycle, get their thing fixed, and, and off they go. We need those people, but we also need people that are willing to stick it out over the long term. Um, do sit, basically people that are, are comfortable being uncomfortable and and kind of sticking sticking their nose in, in, in new places and and, and finding and finding uh, and finding uh, things things to clean up and and go through that pain. Um, Go through that pain, but also get with the, with the kind of the promise of the reward of of this of, of great influence, higher trust, and, and bigger impact on the back end. Um, but with that, that was that was my content. But uh, yeah, if you have some time now, go see. <laughs> and, and I think we're, we're uh, uh, ending a little bit early with, um, uh, with the with the slides. But so there's time to go go review some patches. Hi, Dan. Um, thank you for that talk. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. Um, thanks for your time again. Uh, my name is Karthik. Um, I have been using Linux for the last six or seven years or so. I've uh, kind of been into operating systems for um, the last few years. I toured around with OS 161 five years ago and uh, then I started looking deeper and deeper into Linux and I, I absolutely loved it. The one thing, even though I have an electronics and software background, um, I'd like to know what's the kind of the best way to circumvent the complexity, so you know, to, to ramp up the complexity in a way because there, there, it, a lot of things are quite complex, and uh, just to get the foot in the door, um, do you have any tips? Do you have any resources that we can use, or is there anyone who can probably um, mentor us along the way, uh, or is it just dive in and you have to figure everything out yourself? Um, there's a lot of self-direction, and I might be able to give you a more specific answer if you if you said what what, what part of the kernel you're. Um, you're talking about, but it, it but um, grep grep is um, <laughs> grep 
where's my friend? Um, I, 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 I don't know if you know about uh, Git, Git grep. Um, Git grep is is, um, um, is the uh, it, 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 it filters just based on just based on the, on things that are in the, in the kernel file, and you can and you can grep uh, with, with history. Um, yeah, I think I think um, I think this might be a good <laughs> a good topic for a topic for an, for another mentoring talk. Is is basically like, um, I learn a lot about how to uh, tackle subsystems by watching some of these um, presentations, going to the conversations and seeing the presentations about people that present on, hey, here's how I debug this problem, and um, and that's been how I've collected tips for these for, for these things over the years, and yeah. The, so, I mean, so, certainly, I, like you, you, you grow, you grow your own ways to to uh, to interrogate the code, uh, just just messing with it yourself. Mm -hmm. But, um, but the but these talks and um, there you go, look some of that like, like uh, at the most recent plumbers in the before times when we actually met in um, uh, I think it was in, in in Portugal for Linux plumbers, there was a talk by. Uh, uh, Omar Sandoval from Facebook, and he presented his tool called Dragon, uh, Dragon Debugger. But he, he walked through how he um, went from this problem report back to the back to the root cause, and and how he how he interrogated the kernel. Um, so 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 that that looks that looked like a, a really powerful tool. Um, there are yeah the, the, you, you tend you tend to see at least one of these talks per conference about somebody who who had a, had a hard who had a hard problem and how they figured it out, and the ways that, the ways they go the ways they go about it are are varied and different. But um, but if I if I had to look back and say where did I pick up some of my debug tips, my my code understanding tips is it was, it was from um, well, hearing hearing other people's war stories about some of okay. these things. But you know, there's I mean, there's code on the one side, but there are a lot of concepts um, uh, on the other side as well, which are quite crucial to to understanding the functioning of the whole system. I remember Linus once said, we don't use C++ in the kernel because the hardware is uh, is quite complicated in itself and when you're dealing with caches and cache misses and all this, you don't want to introduce the complexity of the language. So yeah. I, 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 that kind of stuck to me. And for, so to your previous question, you were you asked subsystem. So for example, the networking subsystem, networking subsystem, You've got a whole host of. Um, it's not just the language semantics, right? So it's it's a whole host of uh, buffer allocations and uh, w walking through the different layers and all these things. So um, that is there, is there an easier way there, um, or, or is there some kind of a support that I can maybe get some um, references or or some tips or some working guidelines or something that could maybe uh, streamline my workflow or make it easier for me to understand things? Yeah, um, um, it's, 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 it's still the case that, um, that I mean, the, the, the kernel's complex and it moves fast, but it doesn't move that fast in the sense that there, there, there are some core concepts that um, that, that, that that stick around. Um, one, um, some some of these books, uh, like uh, the Linux Kernel Development by Robert Love, that even even though like even though that book only talks up to like the 2.6 something kernel, um, the concepts in there um, as a framework for for, under, for understanding for understanding some of the more advanced pieces, the the, the concepts there, uh, the base concept. Haven't changed. Haven't changed in a long time. So if you haven't read that Linux kernel development by Robert Love, if you haven't read um, the Richard Stevens books about um, advanced programming in the Unix environment, and um, uh, he also had a, a book about um, uh, advanced networking. Uh, this is the the uh, um, yeah the, the I think Richard Purdy books. Anyway, but yes, the the, the there. Some some of these some of these foundational books ha, ha, can give you the concept that you can use to kind of understand the complexity um, in other parts of the kernel. Okay, thank thank you so much. Uh, if I could, I'll just a quick a really quick question, um, if that's okay. Sure. 
Um, so uh, do you have any tips for how, how we can set up uh, taking on environment, like not to use a working PC as a test around um, uh, to, to kind of mess around with the Linux co uh, code and compile a new kernel, but setting it up in a virtual machine or are there any, do you have any tips for that? Um, or can it be emulated and debugging the, the kernel? That's something that I found really hard back in the day. Um, just just trying to debug the kernel uh, apart from using kprintf. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if you're familiar with um, uh, Brendan Brendan Gregg's website. So have you, um, so Brent, Brendan is a is a is a performance analysis engineer, uh, operation engineer at at Netflix. And um, if you look for if you look for Brendan Gregg. Um, um, DPF or, or 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 those on on Google, it, it'll, it'll bring up it'll bring up his site. He has an entire kind of um, an entire collection of, of trace points and how he debugs certain problems, and um, th that's just a, a, a great place to um, get how to get your kernel to, to give you to give you more data and more and more information so you can start in, in investigating a problem. So if you haven't if you haven't checked up uh, Brendan Gregg's tools, that's that's a uh, Greg with two G's at the end. Um, he, those those collection of tools are in, invaluable. So Dan, okay. I also posted uh, Karthik, I also posted a um, link to yeelinux.org main page. Yep. Um, in the chat, that's a great resource. Um, they go, they have lots of tips on various kinds of debugging and a lot of information on power management. And it's it's a good resource to go look for a specific area of the kernel you're interested in and looking uh, for information there. Okay, thank you so much for that, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Um, there is a question, uh, Dan, from Julia. Sure. Julia, are you? Would you like to ask yeah. that question now? Hi. Um, so when you talked about reviewing, you talked about it from the point of view of like a person goes to try to find some uh, some patches that they could review. I wonder if there could be a, a space for going the other way around somehow, where some kind of centralized system pushes patches out to people saying like, I think you're a qualified person. Maybe you could review this patch. What would you think of something like that? I think, I think that might naturally fit with some of the, like I know Constantine is working on better tooling to allow kernel to be more approachable from the perspective of a lot of people just stumble figuring out how to configure their mail, mailer to send patches. And so yeah. he's developing a, developing a system to you send a pull request to the to the bot and send out, send out the patches. But I think yeah, I think it it, it might be useful. Um, part of the problem I think with with the community is patches go out and everybody assumes somebody else is going to take a look at it, <laughs> and <Yeah>. and <laughs> and, uh, and and silence silence is the worst is the worst experience for a developer. Um, like. I'd rather, like me personally, I'd rather be being yelled at than, well, to, to an extent. <laughs> at least, at least, at least, at least there's, there's a chance to make progress versus like sitting in silence for a long time. Um, so I, I think there's a lot of merit to the idea of tag your it. Um, uh, um, please, please, please help review this. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, especially, especially when like, especially like I, I had the experience of, hey, this, uh, this, 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 this bug, um, this bug uh, crashes the kernel um, and, and hangs the kernel and can get, can we get it fixed? And it was, and, and it kind of sat there for weeks when, when I, I think all the maintainers and the, pe and the people that could review it all just kind of assumed, assumed somebody else would do it. Uh, yeah, I, 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 think, I think it'd be a fun experiment to try on, on, on a subsystem basis and see what happens. Um, can yeah. you imagine some, what, what would you suggest is the criteria that would be good for sending for for nominating for somebody, yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I, honestly, I think it, I think it should be based on how many patches you've submitted to that maintainer um, without reviewing anybody else's. <laughs> like, it, <laughs> like, like basically, at, at some point, it's like a, it's like a, a throttle that says, "Hey, you seem to be really proficient at um, 
at sending patches in the subsystem. Um, and we noticed that you haven't reviewed any patches in the subsystem. Maybe maybe there's a chance for you to, to review this one. Um, um, but yeah, because because that's that's the that's the burden we're trying to relieve is that the maintainer becomes the reviewer of last resort. And so if a bot was out there saying you've you've passed the thresh the threshold of of uh, of number of patches you can send before somebody before offering somebody else review, please please consider reviewing. I think that. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't mind seeing, seeing that be, be, a, be a, a trial experiment. OK, thank you. No problem. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just highlight for other people on the call. Um, Julia, Julia wrote, a, wrote a tool called, uh, I'm going to mispr mispr mispronounce it, but Coxonel, um, that is part of that find a way to um, uh, help people prevent, basically find a way to, to pre preclude people from making mistakes. So, so this tool finds patterns and will even, I think it's, I mean, it even in some cases will send, send you the patch to fix the mistake you made. And so that's been, it's been incredibly useful. And, and uh, if, you, if you haven't checked that out and if you don't know Julia, then her tool is, is, is really amazing stuff. Plus one on that. <laughs> I use that a lot as well. I incorporate it in my uh, maintainer uh, workflow as well. Okay, well, any other questions? It looks like we might, Vincent might have his hand raised. Vincent, did you want to ask a question? You're welcome to unmute. Okay. Uh, well, if Vincent doesn't pop on um, and we don't have any other questions, I think we can go ahead and wrap up. Unless Dan or Sheila, you had any other any other points you wanted to make? Um, no. And um, but uh, but do do reach the, like, kind of to Julia's point. There, there there's a lot of there's a lot of silence on the mailing list, and. And sometimes you can help that along just by declaring what you want to happen with your with your patch set. I think a lot of people assume magic happens; they just send the patch, and magically somebody comes along to take a look at it. Uh, being being more explicit helps, and um, and uh, just the same the same way that maintainers uh, need to be kind of uh, that need to communicate what's going to happen. Um, developers communicating what they would like to happen just helps helps the process along and. And somebody can recognize, oh, I'm the I'm the one that's that's being waited on, and because uh, sometimes it's not clear, and and there's a lot of assumptions that it can be, be violated. Um, but other, other than that, yeah, I want to thank thank you for thank you for uh, for the help uh, or, organizing this and and crying the questions. It was a it was a, it was a good experience, and, and and maybe one of these days we'll have a we can do this in person again. But uh, this, this, this will have to do. This will, this will have to do for now. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Dan. We appreciate you being here, and thank you, Shua, and thank you to all our attendees and everybody who participated today. Um, this will be up on the Linux Foundation YouTube later today, and um, Dan is uh, going to share this presentation out with us, and, and that will be on the, the mentorship website. So um, you can look for that as as well. Thank you all so much, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.